Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how you can control a PC, doesn't matter if it's a Windows PC or an Apple computer, using your iPhone or iPod or iPad. Okay, you basically want to do this if, you know, for instance, like my father's having trouble with his computer, uh, he wants me to check it out, so then I'll go ahead and use um, TeamViewer and I'll log into his computer using my iPhone and I'll fix whatever issue he has. Another thing you might want to use this for is if you wanted to access your computer remotely as well. Okay, so let me just show you really fast uh, what you can do and then I'll show you uh, how to install everything and get everything up and running with uh, Team Viewer. Okay, so you can see here I'm on my um, my iPhone here and I'm using, I'm not using a MacBook, but this is a um, a Windows laptop, okay? But you can use a, a, um, a MacBook as well. You can see I'm controlling the mouse here. I have my task manager open. I can go ahead and minimize it as long as I go up to the minus sign right here on my phone and I just tap anywhere on my screen. It's going to minimize it. Um, if you wanted to right click anywhere, you simply just go where you want on the screen and then you press and hold anywhere on the screen like this. Oops, just like this. And then here's another sub menu that pops up. And from here I can go to task manager or uh, toolbars. If I wanted to browse the web here, you can see that I'm on here. To scroll, you can use like two fingers. Oops. There we go. And you can see as I'm moving everything, it's going to be on the screen as well. Now, if you have somebody on the other end that's using the computer, you know, if they're moving the mouse, you're not going to be able to see it on your phone. However, if they're typing in things or if they're actually scrolling, like I'm using my computer right now, you'll be able to see what they're doing uh, on your, um, your phone. Even if they're typing in something, like I'm using my computer right now, you can see that I'm typing it up there and it's showing up here as well. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, you can go ahead and increase the screen size too. And then you can start moving around like that. We can go ahead and minimize it. We can go ahead and open up another tab if we want, just like this. I'm gonna open up another tab, oops. Just like that. Now the screen may look very, very small on your on your um, phone, but believe me, it's really easy. You know, it only takes you like a minute to get used to it, then you realize like how easy this actually is. So I opened up another browser here, and let's just say I want to go to another website. So I simply click on that, then I can click on this um, keyboard down here, tap on that, and then I can go to I don't know, uh, NBC. dot com. Then I can press on Enter here. And then I can move this keyboard down by pressing this button right here. Uh, you can scroll just by moving the cursor on the uh, scrolling bar right here on the right. And then you can double tap your screen and move it up and down. Or what you can do is you can use two fingers and you can scroll up and down as well, just like that. So let me show you guys what you guys need to do to get this up and running. Okay, first thing you have to do is go ahead and go into your your Apple Store here. So let me go ahead and go into my Apple Store here. And this is what you want to download, okay? And it, of course it's all free too. So you want to go into search and we're just going to type in uh, Team Team Viewer. And the one that you want is right here on the first one. It's Team Viewer remote control okay so once you install that go ahead and open it up and okay I already have mine connected so let me go ahead and uh, disconnect but uh, but go ahead and install that first and the next thing you want to do is you want to go onto your computer and you want to go to uh, teamviewer.com I have a, I have the links below as well you go to teamviewer.com and as soon as you're here what you do as soon as you go on this page you download right here and this goes for a Mac as well as a, as a uh, Windows PC. Download Team Viewer right on the first page. Simply download that, and basically the icon looks like this right down here. Team Viewer icon. Let me open that up. Let me go ahead and close this now. And now let's say let me go ahead and close all connections. Okay, so now let's say you have um, you want to connect to another computer remotely. Basically, what you're going to do is go ahead and Open up Team Viewer on your computer just like this. 
And then from here you want to go and go into your iOS device and you want to open up your team viewer from here as well. So mine's right here. Let me click on that. And now it says here, please enter your partner's ID in order to control the remote control. Okay, perfectly fine. You can see that I have the ID right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in here. It's already in there. Now I'm going to press on return. And now after this, it's going to ask me for the password. Okay, and where's the password? The password is right here, password. It's 4 Eight eight zero. So let me go ahead and type in four eight eight zero. Then I'm press on OK. And then as soon as I do that, this little um, just some instructions to show you tips how you can scroll with two fingers and press and hold, right click, things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Continue here. And there you go. Now you can see my desktop is right here. Now of course it's always better to go into landscape mode. Okay. And now you're able to control pretty much whatever you want. So it's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions in regards to um, team view or anything, just comment below. If you guys subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.